Hello everyone. In this webcast, we are going to have a quick look at how to configure Cloud Witness for a Windows Server 2016 failover cluster. First, what we need to do is um, open up failover cluster manager. And within Failover Cluster Manager, we can right click on the cluster name, go into More Actions, click on Configure Cluster Quorum Settings. So, what we will do in here, um, click Next and select Advanced Quorum Configuration. So this gives us a view in terms of how we've configured voting. So I'm just going to select default settings, click next. Under quorum witness, I will be selecting configure a cloud witness. So this allows us to configure a cloud witness for our failure cluster. To configure the cloud witness, we need to provide a storage account and also a storage account access key. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into my Azure portal and I'm going to create a new storage account. I'm going to provide with a unique name for my storage account. It's a general purpose storage account and replication I'm happy with local redundancy. Going to create it under a new resource group. And I will have it created in Australia East. Submitted our deployment. So in a couple of seconds we should get a completed notification which means that the storage account has been created in Azure. Yep, so the deployment is successful. I'm just going to do a quick refresh and here we go. We have our Cloud Witness storage account. So what I now need to do is grab the account name and I need to grab the access key. So I'm just going to copy my first access key and I'm just going to paste it in here and we will also grab the uh, account name copy and paste it under storage account name click next what it will do is it will contact Azure once I click next it will go ahead and configure the cloud witness so it's saying that the cloud witness is successfully configured you can click view report which will give us information around the two nodes that we have and also give us an indication on the completion of the cloud witness. So now going back into the cluster, um, what you'd notice is that we now have a new resource, uh, which is our cloud witness. So in an event where one of the nodes uh, fails, what the cluster would do is contact the cloud witness uh, to make a decision around who will own resources which are available part of this cluster. That is how we configure Cloud Witness uh, for a Windows Server 2016 cluster.